Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome to a brand new series on my channel. Technically not brand new as we've already done season one, but welcome to season two of the Younguns. You guys have no idea how happy it makes me to be able to say that. We are here with season two. So many of you have been asking for me to bring back the Younguns and it's finally happening. We are here with the Younguns gang. So some things have changed, other things have not. If you guys have seen Younguns series one, then you will be used to a lot of these characters. However, we are now focusing on the second generation. So it's kind of more Nathan, as you can see here. Nathan is gonna be like the Chloe of the Younguns season two, I guess you could say. Um, so we have Nathan, who is Chloe and Jared's son, and he is living in an apartment with Kai, who is... I can't even remember his name. How bad is that? It's not Harvey. Maybe it is Harvey? It might be Harvey. I think it is Harvey. Yeah, Harvey Snow. So he is Harvey's son, and these are gonna be like the two that will constantly play, and then we will be popping in on Paxton and Marisol. We have some interesting updates about those two, which I'm excited to show you guys. Um, but in this part, we're kind of just gonna take it slow for this first part. Nathan actually has work. As you guys know, he did get into the detective career at the end of the the last season. Um, so he just has work today. Kai currently does not have a job. I kind of wanted to get him into mixology, um, but right now he's just being a slob and being what people would call a bachelor and kind of just living his life in this grotty apartment of theirs. So like I said, we're gonna take it slow for this part, reintroduce you guys into everyone. We're gonna have a get-together tonight, maybe invite around a couple of their friends. Uh, he's gonna cook some grilled cheese for himself and Kai actually just woke up as well. So this is Kai, introductions on the toilet. How fitting. Um, right, let's pause you there, mister. I wanna get a close-up look of you. So this is Kai. Where have his spots gone? I put acne on him and it seems to have disappeared. I have no idea where his... Does he still have it or has it actually, like, disappeared? I think it's disappeared. Well, I need to put that acne back on you, mister, because you definitely did have it. Has it gone? Really? Really, game? You gonna play me like this? Yes, it has. Okay, well, I'll probably put that back on him, bless him. Don't go cook on the barbecue. Oh, nice, Nathan. You just cook breakfast for yourself, not for Kai. I really don't trust these two. I should probably... Oh, we have sprinklers. I was gonna say, I think we should get a fire alarm, but don't worry, we have sprinklers. So this is their apartment. I did do a speed build of this uh, sometime last week. I will link it in the description down below if you guys missed it, but you're seeing their apartment now anyway. So these two have decided to move in together. They are kind of around the same age, so I decided... Kai's a... What? What? What just happened? Nathan? You were right there. You just kind of like melted into the floor in like a pool. I am confused. <laughs> Hopefully he's okay. But yeah, these two have moved into San Maishuno in what I think is called the Spice District, if I remember correctly. Basically the lowest district that there is in San Maishuno. Duty calls, the world is a never-ending cesspool of grime and crime, and it's Time for Nathan to take a big bite out of it. Sounds gross. Care to join them or should they work? We're gonna send him alone. Uh, we kind of do need to spend a day with him for him to get a promotion because we do need to solve a case. Um, but I did bump him up in his career a little bit. So I think he's level four of the career. He's, yeah, he is actually a detective now. He was a cadet, but I kind of bumped him up. Like I said, I wanted 
I mean, even like the beginning of Jungen season one, I kind of wanted it to be like, I had played these guys a little bit, I haven't. But during my setup, I wanted it to be like, they had still been gaining skills and things like that. But yeah, I'll uh, introduce you guys to Kai a little bit. I'm surprised he just managed to make excellent on that. So Kai, like I said, is Harvey and I guess I'll show you his, uh, his genealogy. I think he's Harvey's. So basically we had Jeff Snow and we had Madeline Snow. Jeff actually passed away from old age. He was his grandpa. Uh, Madeline is still hanging on in there, thankfully. So hopefully she'll stick around. Then we have Harvey Snow, who's married to Scarlett, who is just like, oh, I'm still in love with Scarlett after all these years. And then his big brother, Paxton, and then Kai. Um, so that's him. He is a slob. He's self-assured and he is lazy. Um, he got... Oh, did I? Yeah, I picked a food aspiration. He originally had a popularity aspiration, but I changed it to a food aspiration because I do want him to actually be like a bartender in the future. But right now, he's literally just loving his life. He's very much into the wellness skill, which is quite entertaining. Um, he's basically this massive hippie who wears like all sorts of baggy clothes, doesn't really take care of himself. I'm probably gonna have him grow like a massive beard at some point. His family are kind of a bit like, right Kai, you need to like, I know you're having fun and all, like it's your early 20s, you're allowed to do whatever you want to do, but you should probably tidy yourself up soon but he's just not having any of it really which I love about him and their apartment is fairly grotty let's be real. I mean it's nice but it has cracks all over the walls and like damp stains. Kai still sleeps with a freaking night toy for goodness sakes which I love about him. He's such a little sweetheart. Um, he's not gonna clean that up. Of course he's not gonna clean that up. It's Kai. So we'll leave it. Um, but why don't you come have your morning meditation? Kind of, uh, work on your wellness skill a little bit. I'm just gonna leave that out. I'm gonna actually throw this one away though because that is just gonna get fusty. I can't wait for them to get, like, mice and stuff. Oh, here we go. He's gonna... He's gonna practice his wellness. I guess I will show you guys his skills as well. So he doesn't have a career, um, but his skills, he is level eight in singing. He's actually really into his singing. We have a guitar over here and he plays that quite a lot as well. Um, video gaming level eight. You've gotta be good at video gaming when you spend all day at home. <laughs> he kind of does his morning meditation, kind of works out here or there and then pretty much just updates his social media, plays video games. I mean, kind of like me before I had a job where I actually had to go out and go to work. Uh, he's pretty much just living my life, except I don't meditate and I wish I had his wellness skill because I feel like I would be a much more relaxed person if I did. <laughs> he's also level seven in fitness. So although he's lazy and a slob, he's still like fit. Oh, dude. <laughs> I love that. I love that. That just explains Kai so much. He just seems like quite ditzy to me, bless him. I really, really do love him. He's gonna be fun to play with. I reckon he's gonna be a little bit of a, a serial data out on the uh, cobbled of San Machuno. I feel like he's probably gonna get along quite well with Miko. Um, so we might have to like introduce ourselves to her. I do want them to kind of have like a fair few friends in the city. I feel like they definitely just want to get out and about. But for tonight, we're going to invite around a few of our family members and just chill at home because it's kind of going to be like a housewarming, just getting you guys once I, as I say again, what? What just came out of my mouth? Uh, reintroduced to the characters and also myself because it's been a long time since I played Jungans. What's he going to do? Find a pen pal. That's perfect. You can totally find a pen pal. I love how he's wearing leggings as well. He's just amazing. I'm kind of in love with him. I've posted on the pen pal forums. Now to wait and to see if anyone responds. I really don't know if anyone will respond. Okay, my window is shut. It sounds like my window is open. Social networking. We are gonna update our social media status. 
and we will also share an image try and get our social following up i mean considering he's not doing anything he should uh at least work on something we are gonna sell that painting he does paint a little bit in his spare time as well we can also delete your homework because you no longer need that you're a young adult now uh he gained 20 followers he now has 90 followers <laughs> i love him so much i guess you should probably start working on your mixology dude who do you know i feel like we're gonna have to have what a cute image he gained 20 followers yeah, I feel like we're gonna have to have um, uh, Nathan throw the party because I feel like he knows more. Whereas, mind you, Kai knows quite a lot of people of like who I want to invite. He knows quite a lot. I'm impressed. Maybe we will have Kai throw the party. Nathan might not know as many as him. I guess I'll give you guys the lowdown. Uh, why don't you practice making drinks? But yeah, I'll give you guys the lowdown on kind of some new characters. We will be playing as different families again, like the old season. Uh, we will be kind of flipping between some families when I feel it is necessary. So we have the one and only Jared. You know, you know the Ross and Rachel of the Younguns is Chloe and Jared. They are actually back together. They're back living with each other, which is quite scary. Um, but they've both grown up quite a lot. As you guys remember from the first season, Jared was dating the nurse, um, but he asked her to just be friends. He did it very civilly and didn't really want anything to overlap or anything. He's grown up a lot. So Jared and Chloe are living back together. I don't know how that's gonna work out for them, especially with me not playing them because their relationship is so higgledy-piggledy. I'm fairly sure they have like all the options available in the list. You know where it's like just friends, bad romance, hot and cold enemies, best friends, they have everything. It's hilarious. It's just such a complicated relationship between those two, but they're back living together. Then we have Freddie and Reese, who are Kai and Kai's nephews. So Paxton and Marisol actually had two twin boys and they're adorable. Let me just tell you, I'm very excited for you guys to meet these two. They're like terror tots. As you guys know, Parenthood has come out now, um, so we will definitely be exploring Parenthood in this pack. We will be playing as Paxton and Marisol quite a lot, um, because these two are kind of just two single guys living the life in the big city, whereas Paxton and Marisol have also moved into the city. They're also living in the same neighborhood as the boys, um, but they now have two toddlers, which is crazy. They're like living their dream. Then we obviously have Nathan, who you all know, Paxton and Marisol, uh, is Kai's big brother and his girlfriend. They aren't married or anything, I'm fairly sure. We will be getting them married through this season, so that will definitely be happening. And then obviously their two sons, uh, Harvey and Scarlett, Kai's dad and mum. Uh, then we have Haley, his auntie. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm getting confused already. If you guys haven't watched season one, I do apologize because this is going to get confusing for me. Never mind for you guys. But yeah, Haley is his auntie and they also had a second child. So her and Lacey had a little toddler called Todd, who is adorable. He's obviously Ivy's little brother. And that's mainly like the majority of the families. We have Harry, but Kai apparently doesn't know Harry, but Harry will probably be around at the boys' house quite a lot. He actually wants to move to San Myshuno. Um, they're all kind of moving out into the big city, which is very exciting. I don't know why he dislikes Alexander. That's actually quite funny, but they really don't like each other. So they're mainly like majority of who the boys know, families and stuff like that. Uh, you've practiced enough, I feel like. Why don't you um, spend your time? Well, you can use this, first of all. You need to get your social up a little bit. Maybe we should call someone. Who should we call? We're gonna give our big brother a call. We're gonna chat to him. 
and we will be throwing a party later on so we will obviously get our social up when we actually oh you're just free peeing my goodness kai that is talent no hands that's a talent i didn't know he had bloody hell how handy is that quite literally very handy why is that a thing? I feel like he's just glitched out and he's just like constantly peeing whilst he's on the phone. Oh, no, he wasn't. He just zipped up straight after he was done with the conversation. That's fine by me. Oh, why is Gita sad? We're apparently going to go talk to her. We actually haven't introduced ourselves to Gita. Um, so let's do that. Let's give her a cheerful introduction. Should we give her a flirty intro? Ah, oh, I wish we kind of had. Oh, okay. Maybe not, because she just, like, flat out denied us. No one's living in here, I don't think. Maybe I'll have Harry, like, become our actual neighbour. Like, maybe I'll have him move in to one of these apartments. That could be quite fun. Um, because he kind of doesn't want to be living with his mum forever. Although he is, like, taking care of her, because she's getting on a little bit. She's a little bit old. I really need to keep an eye on the old people in this Let's Play, because if you guys remember from the last season, we had parents, grandparents dying here, there, and everywhere. And I kind of don't want that happening in this part, so... I might turn off aging, but then I also still want people to age, so I don't really know what to do. I just don't want the elderly to, like, pass away. Who are you going to chat to? Oh. You, you're excited by whoever you're chatting to. Do I want to know who you're chatting with? Or do I not want to know? Do you have any? No, he doesn't have any romantic relationships as of yet. That will definitely change. Like I said, these are two young single guys living in the big city. They're definitely going to um, get some romance Shy. on the cards. <laughs> We really need to get his fun up as well. Maybe we should serve some dinner. We are going to serve some garden salad. And we're also going to fart just a little bit. Just let one go. Let one go. Whilst you're cooking. Nice. Lovely. That's the type of person Kai is. 100%. Is he literally just going to let one go whilst he's cooking? Yeah, he is. <laughs> And he laughed afterwards as well. I love how you can just like burp and uh, like shout forbidden words just on command, you know, just like that. It's great. Why? I love how that's become a thing. Oh no, we're starting to feel ill. It's probably because of our apartment. Actually, what traits do we have? What lot traits do we have? We have the needs TLC, obviously. Um teen neighborhood more teens will hang out in the neighborhood that surrounds this lot no that sounds a little bit pervy so we aren't gonna go for that one we could go for a quake zone um not a mean vibe home studio i mean it could be creative um happy energized or inspired what's grotty sims have a chance to get nauseous yes i feel like we should go for that gremlin stuff breaks here a lot no i don't want to go for that um party place parties just seem to go well at this place um filthy clogged sewers to grimy counters this place seems to get dirty really quickly we're gonna go for that this place is just gonna be grim basically that's how it's gonna be okay we've changed a lot of traits so it's gonna get dirty pretty quickly and kai is not gonna be the one cleaning that up that's gonna fall on nathan bless him poor nathan i feel sorry for you dude i don't know why you decided to uh to move into this place why don't you take a shower you're feeling rather tense you definitely need to get your fun up more um shout forbidden words okay i did make you do that but you haven't done it yet he's really not feeling it right there we go we made some salad oh there we go there are the forbidden words let's put that in our fridge and you can open grab a serving and i think i think I think we're gonna have Kai throw the get together. It's not gonna be like a crazy party where we aim for stuff. It's just gonna be like a social gathering. So plan a social event. Hopefully everyone can make it or almost everyone can make it. Hopefully we won't just get like turned down. It's gonna be a... 
Where's just like house party? Oh, there we go. Right at the top. It's already clicked. The hosts are going to be Nathan and Kai. Guests are going to be Jared can come. Um, who else can come? Annie can come. Marisol can come. Chloe. Hayley, Harry, Harvey. Scarlett, Paxton. Madeline. Okay, so the toddlers can't come over, unfortunately. It would be quite cute to introduce you guys to them. Actually, we're not going to invite over Annie. Or should we? I feel like she's kind of extended family, so maybe we should. Uh, nah, it's alright. She doesn't need to come. We'll invite her daughter. But obviously, Chloe is Nathan's mum, so she's going to come over. And then all of the snows. Literally every snow. There's so many of them. They're taking over our freaking world. We don't need an entertainer or a caterer or a mixologist. So let's go for these guys. And it is gonna be in our apartment. There we go. I always forget that this is called the Forbes residence because his last name is Forbes. He has Jared's last name. There we go, Kai. Looking smart. Stuck on a shirt and everything. Even though it's not like the smartest shirt in the world, he still put on a shirt. That's like a good effort for him. Oh no. Yep. Who invited you? Raj. I did not invite you into my house. Sim is already leaving. Good. Ah, Marisol just came in and gave- Or is that our mum? That might be our mum. I gave her the same hair as Marisol. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't realise I had given her that hair. Oh, I need to change one of their hairs. Oh, no. Madeline's feeling sad. Here's Paxton. Big bro Paxton's just rolled in. We're going to thank him for coming and uh, give him a heartfelt compliment. Oh, Haley's wearing workout gear, as you do. I actually want to give him an apartment key so he can kind of drop by whenever he wants. Nathan, you need to talk to your dad. Vent to him. Do an impression. Thank him for coming. Oh, there we go. Harvey actually looks like he's- oh no, he's checking himself out. I was like, it looks like he's checking out an apartment, but he's literally just checking out himself. <laughs> Harry, you are so funny. My goodness, of course he would do that. Just like go straight to checking himself out. Okay, Haley, you, you do you, girl. Oh, this is really awkward. Marisol has the same hair as Scarlett. I need to get that changed. Whoopsie daisy. Kai, why don't you- oh, and Chloe's arrived. Good old Chloe. I'm gonna show you guys. These have changed a little bit. The people that we know and love have changed a tiny bit. So good old Chloe is here. She's changed her hair. Would you believe it? I'm using a Maxis hairstyle for Chloe these days. She has grown up, so I guess it's only suitable that she changes her hairstyle. Uh, hopefully no one's gonna like flirt with each other. That would be really freaking awkward. Oh, our dad's here as well. Um, let's have a gossip. Have a good old catch up together. There we go. Oh god, people are feeling flirty. I feel like this isn't gonna go well. I need to go chat with grandma as well, have a deep conversation. Nathan, you need to go catch up with Chloe. Um, go hug her lovingly. Why are you gonna barf? Oh god, he's feeling nauseated. Maybe we shouldn't have gone for the one that makes you feel ill from eating here. We're gonna brighten her day and thank her for coming, of course. Why can't you hug her? We're also gonna give our mum an apartment key. She can kind of come in whenever she wants. I mean, she is our mum, it is only fair that she gets to visit us. My mum would definitely do that. Whenever I move out, my mum is just literally going to turn up on our doorstep. If we live close by, she's just going to turn up and be like, Hey Molly, hey Danielle, just thought I'd pop in. And we're just going to be like, oh my goodness. Although, I love my mum, so I have no issue with her popping in whenever she feels like it. Oh no, Kai's feeling ill. He's got some... Uh, some gross spots all over him. Buddy, you're f literally your first night in your own apartment and you're already feeling ill. 
That is definitely not a good sign for our apartment. Why do I feel like we're gonna get sick so much here? <laughs> oh no! That just shows how gross our apartment is. You also need to eat. Um, go grab a serving of the salad that you made earlier on. You're probably gonna feel ill from it, but we'll try it. Oh look, Jared and Chloe are like totally reconciled. <laughs> so cute what clubs are you still in oh, I, I had you exit your clubs okay that's good I have like set this up like a bit but I haven't finished like setting it up completely so pe things are still gonna be off people are still gonna be parts of clubs that like I don't want them to be part of and things like that oh our granddad isn't here maybe we should have invited him I don't even know if like his granddad's still alive we actually fell out with him uh, quite a bit. Leighton, grandfather. Yeah, and our grandma. Oh my goodness, I forgot that Poppy isn't here either. We definitely need to keep an eye on these elders because they are going to like pass away due to old age, which is not going to be fun. I'm so excited that everyone's like back around and with... Guys, we're back with the young'uns. What the heck? I have so many, like, storylines that I want to do with these guys. And it's just going to be so good. I cannot believe it. I've been waiting for this day for so long. And I'm so glad that it is back. Whoa. Harry. You are looking fine. And I mean fine. Oh, go on, Chloe. You would go out there and you shoot some hopes and hoops in those high heels. That's like amazing. The fact that she even just attempted that in those stilettos, I am impressed. Our mum is the coolest. Everyone's having like multiple conversations with each other. I really can't keep up with like, who is looking after your kids right now, guys? Like you have two babies at home. I mean, Haley's allowed, she also has two babies at home, but her wife is at home. Whereas you two are kind of just like, chilling. We didn't invite Nina! Uh oh. I forgot to invite Nina. That's not very good. Sorry guys, Nina is still around. Um, she's actually moved into the caravan that her uh, mum was living in. So she's, the girls have kind of all moved out. Uh, Chloe's downsized and is living again with Jared. Um, and Nina is living in the caravan where her mother used to live. So the girls have all moved out and kind of gone their own ways, which is sad in a way, but also like, that's their future and I feel like they've they've lived a fairly solid life and time together. Um, I think we're gonna end this part house party now though because it's, it's been pretty good. I mean we should probably try to tidy up a little bit but probably isn't gonna happen. We're probably just gonna go straight to sleep. I mean it's 11 p.m. He definitely has work tomorrow so Nathan should definitely get to bed. Kai is not gonna tidy up, let's be real. This place is gonna be disgusting. I need, feel like I need to, do we have many of the aspiration points? We have 300, okay, so we do not have a lot of reward points. Uh-oh, we need to get working on that. Um, but yeah, I kinda wanna get the ones which makes him like, not care about it being dirty because he definitely would not care. Nathan probably would whereas Kai just wouldn't. Nathan you don't need to wave goodbye to everyone whilst you're doing a poo. They've all gone. The toilet's already grotty. I think Chloe actually vomited in there so that's probably why it's looking a bit disgusting. You know what? You can play a multiplayer game just with Kai quickly. Get your fun up a little bit before you have to go to bed. Uh, I'm gonna throw out like the half eaten ones, but like the full eaten ones can just stay. I'm gonna lose track of all of these plates and stuff. Oh, icky plumbing. This is not gonna be good. I can already see this apartment going downhill like straight away. He's literally gonna vomit. So I'm gonna send him to bed before he can. Kai's feeling ill. This isn't a very good first part, you boys. You know, 
This You haven't set it up to a good start, but I'm gonna end this part here, guys. I hope you are all excited for this series as I am. Give this video a big, big, big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave your comments and suggestions down below. Youngins is one of those series where your ideas really do matter. We kind of don't have like any set storyline to follow and you guys can really get involved with this Let's Play. So I hope you do. I hope you enjoyed it and I will speak to you all tomorrow for the next part of Youngins. Bye guys!